All right, so it is March, and it is that time of the year when you're getting ready for your spring break trip or gearing up for your summer vacation. And so you're probably going to be taking a lot of photos at the beach, and we want to give you some tips to help you get some great photos while you're on your trip. So there's probably going to be two scenarios when you're taking photos at the beach. The first one will be during the day when you're just hanging out, working on your tan, uh, taking photos of your kids, something like that. And the second one is going to be later in the evening when everyone is showered up, getting ready for dinner, want to show off their new summer beach tan, and you're going to be taking photos later in the evening. So we just want to give you some tips to get great photos in both of those different scenarios. All right, so let's talk about the first scenario when you're taking photos during the day when you're just hanging out at the beach. If you've watched the lighting videos, you may have heard me say that I usually avoid direct sunlight for portraits because the subject is squinting because they're facing towards the sun. Now when you're at the beach, people are usually more prepared for the sun, so they have their hat on or their sunglasses. So facing the sun during a photograph isn't going to be such a big deal for them. Another reason that I use direct sunlight when I'm shooting at the beach is because the background is such a big part of the photograph. So if I'm using direct sunlight, so the sun is hitting my subject and also lighting up the background, so there'll be the same brightness, which means if I expose for my subject, the background will also be properly exposed so I can bring my subject and the background into the same photograph. One issue I usually have with direct sunlight is really harsh shadows. But what's cool about shooting at the beach is especially when you have white sand, you have that sun bouncing off the white sand and filling in the shadows that you may usually have when you're using direct sunlight somewhere else. All right, so now let's take a look at some photos in both of those scenarios and walk you through the setup and lighting of each of those shots. These photos were taken around 3 p.m., so the sun was out and not a single cloud was in the sky. In these photos that you're looking at, I'm using direct sunlight as my main light source. I usually try to make sure that my subject is facing the sun to avoid dark shadows in their face. But as you can see, the shadows on their face in this photo are more subtle because you have light bouncing off that white sand and it's helping fill in the shadows in their face. Also notice how vibrant the sky is in the background, so you're getting that awesome blue. When you use direct sunlight, your subject and background are typically the same level of brightness. So even when you expose for the subject, the background is properly exposed too. All right, so here's some photos we took about three hours later as the sun was beginning to set. Now, I want you to notice how the sunlight is a lot less intense and is starting to have that nice warm glow on their faces. I also want to take a look at some photos when I use backlighting on the beach. When I use the backlighting technique on the beach, I intentionally keep the sun out of my photo. If you incorporate the sun in your photograph, the edges of your subject may become really blown out and even difficult to recover in post-processing. Also, if you incorporate the sun into the background, the whole background will probably be washed out or totally just blown out in white. Using a long lens like the 85mm or greater will really help you keep the sun out of your photo. If you have a wide angle lens, you're going to have a wide angle of view and it will most likely mean that the sun is going to be incorporated into your photo. Another tip when using backlighting on the beach is to set up a normal backlighting shot and then turn your subject just slightly. So you can see in these photos how I position them to where it's a typical backlighting situation, but then I just kind of angled them a little differently and you can see that sun starting to wrap around the side of their face but it's not too much to where it's not hitting the side of their face so you don't get those harsh shadows. So the last time I went to the beach, I went with some of our greatest friends. And most of those people were couples. So I had three couples that I offered to do 10 minute sessions for. So I did these 10 minute sessions during the last 30 minutes of daylight. I want you guys to pay attention to how drastically the lighting changes within those last 30 minutes of daylight. I love to start a session with a couple holding hands and walking. Most people have no idea what to do in a photo session, and my goal when shooting couples is to capture their emotion and the personality of their relationship. Doing something simple and normal like having them walk down the beach, holding hands and look at each other is a great way to achieve that goal. It takes the attention off the photo session and puts it back on them. I do a few backlighting shots with the first couple, but once the sun has officially started to set, I start using direct sunlight for all my photos. Notice how in the backlit photos, I am keeping the sun out of the photograph to help avoid a blown out background. As the sun actually sets, it becomes a warm, soft, beautiful light source. 
if I use the backlighting technique at this time of the day, my subject would be darker than the background, and exposing for the subject would mean missing out on the amazing sunset. Using direct sunlight even after the sun has set allows me to expose for my subject and bring the background in the photo too, because they are relatively the same brightness. Alright, so if you're going to the beach soon, I hope this video helps you get some killer photos. Uh, be sure to share them on our Facebook wall. We would love to see them, and I hope you have an awesome vacation.